We've seen what Gatsby does while I am away, but by popular demand, I thought that I would film what he does while I lay motionless on the ground. Let's see. Gatsby, I'm alive. What did you do? I guess we're gonna have to see the tape. So now that answers your guys' question. It's time for us to start the vlog. And now it's time to grab some fur from the corgi butt. Ready or not? Here's a good chunk to grab. There it is. Gatsby, look at that! Wow. All the fur! How about the other side? Uh, I see all of this is gonna come out. I can tell. This is so much! Oh no! You're rolling in it! Woohoo! We did it, Gatsby! And that was brushing the corgi fluff. You're so handsome. It's time for our video update. So as you guys may know, in California, they have pretty much told everybody not to go outside unless you are going to the grocery store or going to the hospital. We are doing our part as well, and I hope you guys are doing your part as well too. I saw the simulation from the Washington Post on how quickly a virus can spread, and I thought that it's just a very good visual explanation of things. So I thought that I would show it to you guys right now. All of the blue dots are healthy people. The brown dots are people who are infected. The brown dot comes in contact with all the healthy people, infects them, and as you can see, pretty much every single person becomes infected pretty quickly if we just went about our life. And the purple dots are people who have recovered from the virus. The final simulation shows what happens if pretty much everybody stays home and self-quarantines while a few people are still move around. The virus can still spread, but as you can see, it doesn't spread very much at all. The people recover at a rate faster than the virus is able to spread. And so like through the simulation, I was really able to see like, oh, we really do need to stay put because any other way, the virus will still spread. That's what we're doing in California. The entire vlog today will be taking place at home and hopefully we can bring a really great vlog for you guys to watch.
And now it's time for Gatsby to explain to us the meaning of life. Okay, now it's time for us to head off to the gym. Today is back day. See you guys there. That was a good workout. This is my gym setup here. You can watch TV while we're working out. Filming from the bedroom. Gatsby, you need to get some more exercise indoors. Are you ready to play with all of your toys? All of them? Say yes. It's time for me to announce the spring merchandise drop. Here are all the products being released now. So here is our spring merchandise release. We have our Corgi on Fleek lanyards with a genuine leather accent. It's a super nice lanyard here. Gatsby Corgi swimming keychain, double sided. We're restocking the hats in a variety of colors. The Japanese Corgi t-shirts are back in stock in all of the colors. This is the orchid color back in stock, including this new color, as well as the women's racer back tank top over here. By the way, it says Corgi in Japanese. Please note that every Everything is incredibly, incredibly limited quantities, especially right now. Um, we just didn't want to have like this giant big release, so we are just doing a small one. And in the last vlog, I mentioned that I'll show you guys how to clean this lanyard. This is my lanyard. It looks pretty clean still. You can't just stick the lanyard in the wash because of the genuine leather. You can't get leather wet. So the hack is to use <gasps> OxyClean. I just put like a little bit water inside. Grab the leather side, just dip it in. You just leave it like this, the water will travel up and get the leather wet. You want to let it do this for like a minute or so? Yeah, that water turned pretty dark. <laughs> you want it to dry quickly so that the water again does not travel up the lanyard and get to the leather. Okay, so I have my lanyard here. It's nice and clean. I didn't fully dry it. I thought I did, but I didn't fully dry it. So the leather did get a little bit wet. Make sure that you fully, fully dry yours when you do it. It's the Corgi Torpedo. His legs tucked underneath. Yeah? You can do it, Corgi Torpedo. Let's all do the Corgi Torpedo now. Okay, now it's time for us to cook some dinner. When I went to the supermarket, they were totally out of all meats. Like there was no chicken, no beef, no uh, turkey, no anything. So we are not gonna be making anything that extravagant today. The only thing they had was cod. First off, we have to defrost the cod, so let's get that out. I'm gonna simply do it in the air fryer. Remember, the air fryer is not actually frying anything. It's just a convection oven. I'm just gonna place it inside. I removed it from the bag and I fry it like this. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna take Gatsby out to pee. That's pretty much all we do. We just, I just take him out to pee and then we come back in. Okay, we are back. Chili pepper. We have paprika, coriander, turmeric. Had it dry. Salt. A tiny dash. Okay, flip it over. Season the back. Okay. Okay, we're gonna set it to 400 degrees for 10 minutes. Start. I'm just gonna juice the lemon. All right, just end it. Uh, it's my first time making fish in the air fryer. Let's see how it turned out. Ooh, that looks pretty good. There we go. We have some air fried fish. That looks pretty good. It's super flaky. 
Mm. I guess I would spray a little bit of like butter or oil on it. Mm -hmm. I was just watching this video and I was like, oh, hmm, that's interesting. So you guys can play along too. In your mind right now, think of your favorite animal. Okay, think about it. What's your favorite animal? It doesn't have to be your pet. It can just be like any animal in the world. Next, think of three reasons why it's your favorite animal. I came up with two animals that I thought I, that I really like, which is a dog, of course, and a tiger. I really like tigers. I like dogs because they're cute, they're very loyal, and they are very, very loving. Tigers, on the other hand, I really like them because they are super beautiful. They're very majestic and they're really cool. So apparently your favorite animal has a lot to do with how you see yourself. So yeah, I guess I see myself as really cool. <laughs> so in the comments below, write down what your favorite animal is and uh, the three qualities that you liked about it. So I like tigers and dogs and I was like, wow, that's probably why my favorite Pokemon is RK9. Anyway, right now I thought that I would share with you guys some deleted footage from a few weeks back when Sean came over. I just never got around to editing it <laughs> until now. Sean's here. We are gonna be doing uh, action charades, which is a little bit different. We're gonna be describing an action. Twist, eat, cooking, stirring, turning, churning, eating pasta, spaghetti. Saying hi, okay, welcoming someone, sit down. Oh, or ordering food at a restaurant. Yes! Yeah, I got one! I got one! Dog catcher! Lion tamer! Zookeeper! Smashing a bug? Scared of a bug spider? Um, killing a spider? Yes! Oh, yeah. I'm a pro. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm a good actor. <laughs> a forklift. Waiting for something. Something in the oven. Making a sandwich in the oven? Putting. What? <laughs> folding a calzone. Okay, it's something thick. <laughs> Thin. I don't know what- Baking a bread. That's so hard. Picking something up, carrying. Delivering mail, mailman? Yes, correct! Driving. Making a U-turn. Oh, putting in gas. Yes, go. Okay. Lawn mowing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this could have been so many things. I could have been shopping. I'm just that good. I was like, what? How did you know I'm going? Welcome back. I hope that Gatsby and I have brightened your day even just like a little bit. I know it's just been so stressful, even for me, but we are all doing our part to try to help stop the spread of the virus. Now that it's the end of the vlog, make sure to check out corgionfleek.com for all of the restocks. The Japanese corgi t-shirts are definitely incredibly, incredibly low stock. Having said that though, please don't purchase anything if you don't have the means and funds right now. This Japanese corgi t-shirt will be restocked again sometime in the future. We'll do a few live streams in addition to the vlogs that we have. I will post announcements. Make sure to be following us on Twitter and Instagram. I'll put the link in the description below. I just really appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys very, very soon. Good night. Say good night, Gatsby. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan! Gatsby, you're gonna try Japanese school lunch! Yeah? Do you want me, do you want me to make some for you? Gatsby, one of the stations...